Clarissa. We are all like different people. We can't be the same. We are all imperfect. Antonio. The concept of trying to use technology to create a utopian society is um, interesting to say the least. Stuart. One thing I always been asking about the, the, the Olympics and the Paralympics. I do believe that in 10, 20 years, a Paralympian will be faster than a human, than a person without a disability. DeWalt. Why would you change your natural ability? Images of computer chips, a radio telescope, a replica of a human heart, computer monitors, a human body, biometric data, a person wears a cap with sensors. Nearby, a robot dances. Words appear. Technology advancements and disability identity. My name is Cheryl Bergstaller. I direct Accessible Technology Services at the University of Washington. Science and technology has progressed to a point where we might be able to eliminate certain disabilities. But just because we can, should we? We talk to some students with disabilities and we ask them to answer that question. Nolan. I like the idea of kind of using technology to help people out, to advance advance the human race but at the same time it creates this whole dilemma of at what point does it does it become too much Courtney I can personally say that technology has definitely helped me to access things that otherwise I wouldn't be able to access and I think progression for technology is definitely beneficial to people with disabilities. But I think there's definitely a line between something like she uses a white cane, a more improved wheelchair, and an exoskeleton for someone in a wheelchair to be able to walk. And I think the difference between those two things is one seeks to improve the life of the person with disability or make access easier for them. The other one seeks to eliminate disability. And I think that is a key difference that a lot of able-bodied people who don't have a lot of experience with disability miss. Shelby. I know everything probably has a little bit of disadvantages, but if something's gonna help you be able to complete tasks and you're still using your brain power and understanding what needs to happen, then I think it's great. Blonde Courtney. I think that if that is something that you personally really want, you wanna be better, you wanna be this extra human, that should be an option but it should not be a requirement. Like I personally am very happy how I am. I would not change a single thing about myself. If I was given the option tomorrow to walk, I wouldn't. I love my life. Antonio. Instead of trying to use technology to create the perfect human being, we should focus more on just trying to deal with the issues at hand in terms of creating a society that is equally accessible for people who are currently not able to have the same opportunities as others. Nikki. For some of my friends who have disabilities that are, um, you know, putting, shortening their lives, and there's technology that is bringing out new studies, bringing out new drugs that are gonna help them get stronger and be able to live longer, I think that stuff is great. Um, but I also do see where it's problematic in trying to force people to become more normal and when they don't necessarily want to be. Why do we need to fix everyone and fix everything? So I think it's just kind of up to the person themselves and if they want, you know, certain parts of their disability to be not a part of their lives and they have that option, then that's great um, for them. But I don't think it should be forced upon anyone and that societal pressure shouldn't be you know, you have to do this because it's available. Nikki navigates her power chair into an elevator. Clarissa. We cannot be perfect. So, uh, and I think like the differences between us, even though if, if it's like disability or not, it's lo like what makes us special and stands out. So, you, we should be proud of that, I think. Courtney. If I were talking to scientists developing the next round or the next, next generation of technology, the first thing I would say to them is, do you have a disabled person on your team? Because the best way to make things more accessible is to include people with disabilities in the creation process. 
Stuart. The goal of technology is to make people's life easier. And I don't see how um, having somebody who has lost their legs and trying to get them to walking um, a negative thing. Um, I don't know, maybe 200 years from today, uh, when robotics improves and they decide to take over the world, that could be some other discussion. Stuart walks on prosthetic legs through a building. Lindsay. There is a very fine line where we have this technology available to people to better their ability to get around in the world, but then we also have to be sure that we're not assuming that they want this technology because it's going to quote unquote cure them or, or make them more able-bodied. Um, we should be asking the questions, you know, do you want this technology because, not because it's going to make you more like able-bodied, but is it actually going to improve your life as a disabled person able to get around and accommodate you with the things that you need help with? instead of just trying to get people to kind of merge towards this one standardized version of what the body should be able to do. Shelby. So maybe whether the tool is like having a hand or, you know, some type of device that can help them climb. Like, I think that that's awesome. But really the key thing is that they want that for themselves. Courtney. Being disabled and living life is completely worthwhile. The thing that makes it challenging is the fact that systems are not built with people with disabilities in mind. And so the change that really needs to happen more than fixing people with disabilities is changing our society to be accessible for people with disabilities, to be able to have access to all the things that everyone else accesses. Courtney walks through a parking lot. DeWalt. Why would you not want to be yourself? I feel like that would change the change who you are. There are so many little things that make up you as a person. Why should you care if there are little flaws? As long as you're a great person, like as a whole. Courtney. Humans will never be without disability. It's written into our physical existence that as we age, it's almost certain that we will um, develop some kind of disability. Having a disability is completely natural. It just happens earlier for some people. Words appear. The students featured in this video are participants in the Do It Scholars program, where youth with disabilities prepare for college and careers. For more information, consult the Disabilities, Opportunities, Internetworking, and Technology website at www.uw.edu slash D-O-I-T. Permission is granted to copy these materials for educational, non-commercial purposes, provided the source is acknowledged. Copyright 2018, University of Washington. Described by AudioWise.